Hi, welcome to another Love the Night Sky video. One of my favourite objects to observe with a telescope is a galaxy. I absolutely love them. Bonkers huge, bonkers distance away, absolutely mesmerising objects. So today I'm going to share with you the five facts that I've learned about galaxies that I think will boggle your brain. The first fact is that galaxies are unimaginably far away. It blows my mind the distances involved here. So to think about it on a scale that we're used to, let's shrink the solar system down so that it's really small. Let's make Neptune, our most distant planet, just 10 yards away. On that scale, the nearest star, Alpha Centauri, is 53 miles away. Now our next nearest galaxy, you might think is Andromeda and it's not, it's actually a dwarf galaxy called the Canis Major Dwarf Galaxy. In real life, that's 25,000 light years away. If we've shrunk our solar system down to 10 yards, then it puts that dwarf galaxy 331,000 miles away from us, which is just beyond the orbit of the moon. Now let's look at Andromeda, so probably the most famous galaxy outside of our own, the Milky Way. That is two and a half million light years away. We're going to shrink down the solar system so that it's just 10 yards across. On that scale, Andromeda is somewhere between the orbits of Venus and Mercury. And remember, that's when our solar system will fit in an average living room. Andromeda galaxy at that scale is still out between Venus and Mercury. It's a long way away. I mean, let's think about it in terms of light speed. So when we look at the moon at night, the light that hits our eyes from the moon has taken about a quarter of a second to get to us. In the day, the light from the sun takes about eight minutes to get here. And of course, Alpha Centauri, our next closest star after the sun, light takes four years to get here. And you know, this is traveling at light speed, a phenomenal speed. Light from Andromeda galaxy that we see, if we look at it tonight, started traveling towards us two and a half million years ago. It is staggering how far these things are. Okay, let's look at amazing fact number two. We can hardly see any of the stars within the Milky Way galaxy. Even though we live there, we're in a decently populated part of the Milky Way we can barely see any of it, even with a backyard telescope. In fact, there are somewhere between 100 and 200 billion stars within the Milky Way. And with a decent telescope, we can see 350,000 of them. That equates to just 0.0004% of all the stars within the Milky Way. Now think about it in terms of scale. The Milky Way is 100,000 light years across, give or take, and we're about 26,000 light years from the center. So behind us, there may be 24,000 light years of stars, towards the center, 26,000 light years into the center itself, and then beyond that, another 50,000 light years of stars. So the, the most distant stars that are still within the Milky Way are about 75, 76,000 light years away. Even with a decent backyard telescope, the most distant stars we can see are about 10,000 light years away. We can't even see stars halfway to the center of the Milky Way from where we are. So yes, it's true. Mind-boggling fact number two, we can barely see any of the galaxy that we live in. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about the stars that we can see from our backyard, just click the link above or in the description. Let's move on to the next mind-boggling galaxy fact. Next, let's look at two facts together because they're related. The first is that galaxies are actually mostly empty space. As huge as they are with their 100 billion, 200 billion stars, they're actually not very densely packed. Take our own Milky Way, for example. Stars generally are about four light years apart. Now, that's hard to visualize as a scale, so let's shrink it down again to something more human. Imagine our sun was a watermelon. On that scale, the next star 
would be about 12,000 miles away. So you can see it's not very densely packed at all. In fact, if we put one watermelon on the North Pole and one watermelon on the South Pole, that would be it. In a space the size of Earth, that would be all the stars we'd need. So that shows you that the Milky Way is not very densely packed at all. Now, the flip side to that, the next fact that I wanted to share with you is the center of the Milky Way, the core of the Milky Way, is actually really densely packed. And that's why when we look at them through a telescope, that core area is much brighter. But let's stay with the watermelon example to clarify what that actually means in terms of density. Now we've got our sun, as we've shrunk it down to the size of a watermelon, but in the core of the Milky Way, there's another one just six feet away, about two meters. So imagine that, imagine Earth covered with watermelons two meters apart in every direction you look. That's the density of stars in the heart of our galaxy. And I find that bizarre, don't you? That on the one hand, there is no density at all. There's barely anything there. But in the core, that, that density is really thick, really, really dense. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's move on to the fifth and final fact, but maybe there'll be a bonus as well. So my fifth fact about galaxies is that the spiral ones at least are really flat. So we talk about how massive a galaxy is, so the Milky Way is like 100,000 light years across, it's huge. But it's really, really flat, there's barely anything above and below it on the plane that it's uh, spiralling in. So if we turned, again, let's turn it into something more human. If we turned the Milky Way galaxy into a 12 inch pizza, then that pizza would just be an eighth of an inch thick, about three millimeters. The galaxy really is that thin. And that's because of how it's born from a spinning cloud of gas and the angular momentum that just keeps it flat. And there's more information about how galaxies are born on Love the Night Sky. I'll put a link to the relevant article in the description. Now then, that bonus fact that I promise you. So did you know that our solar system actually orbits the Milky Way? Uh, and it's true of most galaxies, the stars are orbiting the centre of the Milky Way. And on a time scale at least, it feels very slow. But on a speed, on a human scale, it's incredibly fast. We're orbiting the centre, the heart of our Milky Way galaxy. The whole of our solar system, that is, is orbiting the centre of the Milky Way. At a speed of about half a million miles per hour. So it's a staggering speed. And yet the galaxy is so huge that even on that scale, it takes us about 250 million years to get back to where we started. So last time our solar system was right here was about 250 million years ago. The dinosaurs were only just evolving last time we were in this part of our galaxy. So there we go, six mind-blowing facts about galaxies, and in particular our own Milky Way, and I hope you found them as fascinating as I have. Now, as you know, I'm an astronomer, and I created Love the Night Sky to help people get better at astronomy. So, if you would like to see a galaxy for yourself with your own telescope, possibly even through a pair of binoculars if you've got a decent dark sky, then why don't you hop across to lovethenightsky.com slash galaxy, pop your email address in there, and I'll send you four free guides to the brightest and best galaxies in our night sky, one for each season, so that you've got something that you can take a look at this evening, if the skies are clear, and perhaps see your first ever galaxy. Well, that's it for this video. I look forward to bringing you some more fascinating, exciting, stimulating space information in the next one. Take care and clear skies.